blessed Gabriel Mary, confessor, first order. This blessed man belongs to the most outstanding clients of Our Lady in the Franciscan order. He was a native of France. As a result of a sermon on the Immaculate Conception, which had been delivered by a member of the Franciscan order, he himself became a Franciscan. Due to his great learning and virtues, he was frequent, frequently entrusted with the highest offices in the order. His fame, however, rests on his founding of the Order of the Annunciation, which venerates St. Joan of Valois as its mother. The Blessed Mother of God commissioned him to undertake its establishment. He became the protector and counselor of the order, composed its rules and constitutions, secured many members for it, and was instrumental in establishing ten convents. Later, he was given the title of General of the entire Order of the Virgin Mary. Pope Leo X was so impressed by his devotion to Our Lady that he changed his name from Father Gilbert Nicholas to Father Gabriel Mary of the Annunciation, or of Ave Maria. Father Gabriel Mary always closed his letters with the words, Your Servant in Mary. The theme of his sermons was always some verse from the Magnificat or from the Hail Mary. He bound himself by vow never to say or do anything which might not be pleasing to his beloved Heavenly Queen. While he was guardian at Paris, a professor of theology ventured to attack the mystery of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary in his presence. Father Gabriel was seized with holy anger he defended this prerogative of Our Lady with such eloquence that the professor declared himself vanquished. Father Gabriel Mary died on August 27, 1532, following an academic event in which he had proposed ten questions concerning the prerogatives of Mary and had given his explanation of them. He closed by saying, Today I shall see the glorious Mother of God. Then he began to recite the Vespers of the Blessed Virgin. When he reached the last verse of the Magnificat, he quietly passed away. Pope Innocent granted a plenary indulgence to those who would visit the convent in Bourges, on the, the convent church in Bourges, on the feast of St. Gilbert. A petition has been sent to the Holy See to permit his veneration in the entire Franciscan order, and the cause of his formal beatification is now pending in Rome. Lessons to be gleaned from the Immaculate Conception. The Immaculate Virgin is an object lesson of serious truths. The Immaculate Conception teaches us that we are tainted, whereas Mary alone is stainless. Hence, we are inclined to evil and must be cautious regarding ourselves and indulgent towards others. Another lesson to be learned is that sin is no trifle, that God chose a poor woman for his mother, but not one who was stained by sin. Let these truths take deep root in your heart. The Immaculate Conception teaches us comforting truths. She points out to us the power of God's grace, which made Mary the beautiful one. This grace of God will always be sufficient. We should, therefore, despair of no one's salvation. Another comforting truth is this, that purity brings joy, for the Immaculate Virgin is also the Virgin most joyful, and it is she who chanted the Magnificat. Keep these comforting truths always in mind. The Immaculate Virgin teaches us also encouraging truths. Because she is the Immaculate One, she is also nearest to the throne of God. She wants us to understand that God is nigh to those who are pure 
and that they may ask any grace from him. Besides this, she is herself the guardian of the pure, and we never place our trust in her in vain. Entrust your purity to the Immaculate Virgin, and trust in her protection. Prayer of the Church. Almighty and eternal God, who didst prepare a worthy dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that we who devoutly honor this most pure heart may live according to the desires of thine own heart. Through Christ our Lord. Thank you.